One of the things they have not asked us to do in this problem was to find the interquartile range, the IQR. But it is something that is asked of you quite frequently when you have a cumulative frequency curve. Once again, the way we found our quartiles was to take n, which is the total amount of values. In this case, it's going to be 180. You locate the lower quartile, Q1, by taking 180 by 0.25. We went to 45 on the y-axis. We went across and then touched the graph and we came straight down. We did the same thing to figure out the third quartile. We went 180 times 0 0.75 is 135. So we found 135. We went straight across until we touched the graph. As soon as we touched the graph, we came straight down. And then we were able to determine the third quartile was 41,000. So in order for us to find the interquartile range, we've already done most of the work. IQR is just Q3 minus Q1. So in this case, it's going to be 41,000 minus 26,000 because that's what we got for our third quartile and our first quartile. And this means that the difference is going to be $15,000. So our interquartile range is $15,000. Basically, on a cumulative frequency curve, you can find any percentile. You should be able to find any quartile, the median, and answer any type of question that they ask, okay? So I just wanted to run this by you to make sure that you understood how to figure out the IQR using a cumulative frequency curve.